Zentangle is relatively a new art wherein beautiful images are created using repetitive patterns. Zentangle is easy to learn and one doesn't need to be an artist to practice this art. The Zentangle design can be used on coasters, fabrics, teacups, mugs, bowls, plates, purses, vases, bathroom tiles, etc. As its creators have described, Zentangle is intuitive, relaxing, ceremonial, timeless, portable, empowering and astonishing. There are very few Zentangle artists in India. In fact, we can count them on fingers. Dilip Patel is a retired individual with experience in scientific as well as philosophical field. Currently, Zentangle is his passion and profession. He doodles different tangles to create beautiful designs that have an in-depth philosophical meaning behind its work. Well, Zentangle is a word coined using two words, Zen and Tangle. Zen is in Japanese uh, meditation and Tangle is uh, uh, other word for doodling. And that's how this word has come about, created by a couple in USA called uh, uh, Maria and Rick. Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas. Introduction to Zentangle Art Zentangle is uh, such a beautiful uh, uh, art form that it requires absolutely nothing as any special material. You need a pen, black ink, white paper and a pencil. That's all. You could carry it in your pocket or you could have it in your purse. And uh, it doesn't require you to be an artist. That's the best part of it. Uh, that's where I got attracted because as a trainer I found it that it, it makes a huge difference to even change the person's belief system when he or she can discover that he or she can produce a beautiful piece of art without being endowed with the artistic caliber. So a stroke, simple stroke, small small stroke which you repeat and create into a pattern and those patterns are being repeated to fill up some space and those spaces are juxtaposed together with each other and that is a tangle. How to create tangles? Let me just start with a very simple. These are all circles of different sizes and different shapes. They are just touching each other and that itself looks so beautiful. These are uh, the concentric circles uh, C, English C, leaving some small little space here and that gives you black and white uh, positioning and that gives you beauty. These are straight lines at an angle, 3-3 three, three lines, 4-4 four, four lines and then when you uh, fill up a space with this, this is yet another tangle. Now, it looks very complicated but when you deconstruct and start working on, there could be some 8 points, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and those points are connected and those points are put together and these are some 37 new tangles. This is from one of the books uh, were published in USA last year. What I have created is called ANDS. Circle, big circle, two small circles and then you fill it up and then you just draw this, the lines and the ant is there and you can utilize in different, different locations. How to make a Zentangle tile? Um, by the creators they found out that the size of a three and a half inch by three and a half inch tile, I mean they call it a tile, is good enough for you to spend about 20-30 minutes. Uh, so let me just create a, a sort of, you know, if this is a size of a tile, so put four dots in four corners and let your pencil take you for a walk. It need not have a straight line. Now I take a pen, which is, the recommended pen is uh, this Japanese pen called uh, Micron by Sakura. 
it has a constant uh, thickness and the uh, whatever you do it remains black for a long time this is this. I'm just trying to fill up this space with a tangle now this word tangle is given to the different designs that are deconstructed to be made into so simple that with simple strokes in a particular order when you keep doing then it creates a beautiful design so this is called a crescent moon it looks like a half moon So now I'll pick up the next section and let's see whether I can make some kind of a grid based angles. So I would have made the squares. signs in the centers without connecting to the other ends. Now connecting these plus signs with another straight lines to the four columns of the squares and the magic starts happening. And make it so simple that anybody can follow those guidelines. So the second segment is also over. Uh, let me fill up this another one with another tangle. Let's say this is the tangle which I am going to use in this space. Simple, I am connecting six lines. To enhance this and the spaces left out, I can probably fill up with some different circles. The outlines I'm going to fill up with the pencil, 2B pencil to be, you know, the size for making it a nice, you can follow those lines and make it darker in those areas. So finally, you put a signature and uh, Signature here should be such that it should not give out the orientation because there is no orientation here. Whichever way you want to look at this picture, you can see. So I made my signature also in that fashion. Dilip. So uh, there is a dil and then IP. But it's in four directions. So this is a P part. <laughs> 